Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share a little bit more with the uh, S500 build. So, in a prior episode, we built the carbon fiber frame for the F the S500. I'll spit that out. And here we got the electronics package in. So, I want to talk a little bit, uh, talk you guys through a little bit about the electronic package. There seems to be quite a bit of interest about the S500 build. Um, so I and there's a number of videos that kind of walk through detail soldering the motors to the ESCs, connecting into the APM module, connecting up the OSD, etc. I sort of binge watched um, Painless 360 and uh, all his stuff, and he's done some great videos. So I, I'm not going to really focus on, you know, uh, each step by step, if you will. I'm going to kind of, as I typically do, sort of aggregate the assembly of this and kind of talk about the various pieces. Because I'm assuming to assemble this, you have some basic knowledge of electronics and mechanics and, and that kind of stuff to go ahead and do that. So what I've done is I've actually purchased the kit, and I think pretty much the kit general kit has come with everything except these connectors. I ordered these separately, so these are the power connectors for the battery. Um, but I believe for a set price, and I'll have the link down below in, in overlay of the information, but I got the motors. Uh, the electronic speed controllers, the RD Pilot, uh, APM module. Now I did go with a little bit older APM module and the reason I did this uh, is there's a lot of stuff out on 2.6 and I think this can be flashed to 2.8 and I felt comfortable with the 2.6 in the body of knowledge out there on how this works for being my first homemade quadcopter if you will. Uh, I did a mini OSD so I have on board uh, separately of this, I do have a dedicated FPV camera. So on board, I will have an FPV camera as well as a flight camera for video recording because, again, one of my big goals of this build is actually to turn it into uh, a rather sophisticated video platform. And I've got the FlySky 10-channel controller to support that. Um, so I've got the props here. I forget what size props this came with I think these have to be pretty much uh, I think these are about nine inch props because this is uh, uh, no hang on that's these are gonna be 10 inch props so I'm uh, gonna have 10 inch props on there's black you know black and red so do no front and back again I got clockwise counterclockwise motors I've got the uh, vibration mount for the APM I got the RG pilot I got the GPS and again, the mini OSD just to kind of cover it out. Um, now, separately, I'll do a separate video on the FPV electronics. I've got a uh, dedicated FPV camera, as well as um, as well as a, a FPV transmitter, a rather sophisticated one. So I'll cover that out separately. Get there, but I want to start with sort of with the base build. So what I'm going to move on to is actually installing this set of components on the copter. And we'll cover that in another video as I, as I do that in pieces. But I wanted to share the sort of bomb list, if you will, that you need to kind of start this. Because I'm going to do this in phases. So the base electronics is what you see here. So again, covering it out, we're going to have the motors, the ECU to the APM, supported by the OSD, mounted on the vibration mounts. Uh, with the GPS ability. I think there's also a magnetometer built in there using 10 inch props. Now in addition, the next phase of this after this piece gets assembled will install the FlySky radio. We're going to use a FlySky 10 channel radio. I believe you've already seen the um, unboxing of that. And then the final piece would be the installation of the dedicated FPV camera and FPV transmitter. And at that point, then the S500 will be complete outside of whatever payload package that I designed for it for a dedicated camera. And then we'll go out and fly it. Um, naturally, we're gonna have to program it and set this up. And I'll do a little bit of a video on that when we get to that point. So uh, again, uh, there seems to be a lot of interest in this, so I kinda wanted to cover out the pieces. I'll have the link to this package below. It was actually very affordable. Uh, the motors are good size, typical uh, DJI type um, motors, and, you know, not too big, but I think appropriate should get good lift with the 10 inch props uh, to do most of what I need to do. I also want to have the ability to upgrade the motors too for heavier cameras if I need to. I'm going to do a little bit of determination with this, if this has enough lift or if I need to go to hexcopter or something a little bit bigger to handle some maybe the larger camera frame loads that I want to experiment with. But we'll see from there. This will be a good start 
and be the first project. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget the subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing. And uh, any comments, hit me up below. And hey, we'll see you in the next video as we continue this S500 build. Cheers.